There's a new product in town for low carb people and it's called real good food products, real good foods. They have all sorts of in, in, treats, pizzas, poppers, enchiladas. Is it worth it if you're low carb or carnivore? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another re food review vlog slash low carb carnivore. It's about real good uh, products. I'm not sure if I talked about them already, but <laughs> if I make another video, you can see if I contradict myself. Um, these real good food products. Um, I was semi excited uh, by them because they, they brought back memories of the past, you know, like pizza, pepperoni pizza, and jalapeno poppers, and all these other little things that we used to enjoy. And you know they really are low low carb. I mean, this one has three grams of car carbs plus one gram of fiber, so it's really only two gr net grams of carbs per <clears throat> serving, which is uh, you get about three servings, you get three poppers. And we tried these things, and they, it was basically a chicken nugget with a little bit. Of, they don't look like anything like the box. They never do. It was like chicken nuggets with some flavoring inside, and. Again, like I've mentioned in the past about uh, how chicken doesn't make us feel so good. Uh, chicken, uh, we're, we're meat, uh, red meat based, uh, beef uh, mostly. And these uh, real good poppers here are, uh, are real good food products. It, it just leads to a, a more, a, a bigger picture thing. Like frozen foods and these, these are like TV snacks. You'll eat these while like, like you know, living like a sloth sitting on the TV. This is not a meal in my opinion. I tried a few of their products. The pizza was just awful. It, it did not have the pizza experience that you remember. And, and I really strongly believe you should not go back and try and replicate uh, the, the treats that you used to like. I mean, jalapeno poppers were, were good. I remember. I, I, I'm sure I would enjoy one if I ate one now. They're dipped in batter or, or heavily breaded and then deep fried and they're stuffed with either, you know, cheddar cheese and some concocted cheddar cheese uh, mix in there or, or cream cheese. And they were good, but they were hollow foods really because they're spicy vegetables so it would inflame you and there's breading and they weren't low carb. And these things, there's like almost too much protein. If I eat this whole box of uh, poppers, and it's, there's about nine of them in there, I would get 66 grams of protein, which is probably too much unless you're into high intensity weight training and where your protein requirements should go up. But if you're just living a normal life, I mean, too much protein is also bad for you because any unused protein at the end of the day will end up turning into the equivalent of sugar or carbs. You'll just uh, it'll store, get stored in your body fat. So having too much protein, and that's what, what they achieve by putting uh, high uh, lean pro, uh, chicken meat in there. And I mean, I, I think, I don't want to knock them because they are low carb, but I think the, the frozen food, quick food industry is something that most people who are succeeding on low carb and eventually going into carnivore are going to realize that anything frozen sucks. I mean, with the exception of your own frozen leftovers. Like I, I reheated some uh, burgers because I buy like five pounds of ground beef a lot of times and I'll make like 16 burgers um, and I, I can't, I don't want to let them all sit in the fridge for five or seven days. So I typically freeze about half of them and then I'll bring them back uh, a month later and just, just reheat it on the stove. And that, that comes out good. But this other stuff is designed to be frozen and they have all sorts of things in there that uh, they make them in a way that they stay better frozen. And I, I don't really like them. And I'm, again, I'm not knocking the company per se. I just don't think true low carb carnivore people have any reason to include these in their lives because, because A, the, the high protein, and you'll realize if you're a carnivore that uh, eventually you, you're going to figure out, most people will figure out that chicken is, is just uh, not worth keeping in your rotation. So, and, and, and by the way, lastly, I mean, the, the, it's a nice attempt, but the taste wasn't knock, your, knock you off your shoes, whatever that phrase is. It wasn't that good. It, it, it wasn't like, mmm. 
You're not going to get that mmm feeling unless you're eating a nice piece of steak or, or juicy rare burger. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's it. So this is a follow-up to an article we did already about these, these little poppers and pizzas. I just wanted to follow up with a video just to supplement it with a little conversation. And, and, and by the way, these things are expensive. You're better off buying um, meat, ground beef. Low, uh, go to Wegmans or any other supermarket when you can find the meat. Even Aldi has ground beef sometimes for two bucks a pound. You can buy an, a, a magnitude more of red meat that's probably more nutritious uh, than this stuff anyway. So that's it. We don't, uh, we don't recommend them. We don't knock them. Maybe they can figure out a better way to improve on their products, but I don't think you should be trying to replicate the bad treats of days past. Have a good day. And hit the subscribe button and all that stuff.